let's buy two jugs of milk because I think we can do some cooking with that thank you ma'am I love your jugs of milk they're fantastic keep it up keep up those jugs of milk hey guys and gals welcome back to graveyard keeper we're picking up well not exactly where we left off just a little bit beyond I have done some work off camera and I will try to explain here once we get settled, I'm going to bury this body right here, and then we're going to get going. Hey, uh, why are we a negative one here? I'm going to put a gravestone in there. Head, a headstone. Yeah, get it in there. Make it look all purdy. And now we're at negative eight. Now, here's the thing. If I bury this body, we're going to be down to negative one again until I get another headstone. Do I want to do that? Because I really want I really want plus five. Where are you going, fella? <laughs> all right, tell you what. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this little body and we're going to bring it over to the river because I know we can dispose of bodies at the river. I've seen this on uh, the developer's website. Oh, check it out. Throw body. Bloop. <laughs> See you, pal. Don't worry about it. Someone down in the south will take care of you. Big city down there. They'll uh, they'll dispose of you properly. I mean, <clears throat> give you a proper burial. Bye-bye. Have a nice time in the city. Yeah, I have no idea. If that's, like, gonna come back and haunt me somehow. Like, maybe that guy is a ghost. <laughs> I don't know. But you know what? It's better than messing up my, my grave site. Because we're at my graveyard. Because we're at negative eight right now. I'm trying to get to plus five. Right? For when the bishop comes back. Yeah. So if you didn't see my first episode, um, I will put a link down below in the description. You should check it out. Oh, no. My rusty shovel that broke. Oh, yeah. You need a shovel. Sorry, we can fix it come back for that wood later um yeah so i played played over the weekend i uploaded that video yesterday and this is still sort of the tutorial going on here it's really really long kind of hold your hand there's a lot of uh, a lot of dialogue but um once we get through this it's more of an open i think it's more of an open world and you can just do whatever the heck you want and i'm trying to get to that point <laughs> as quickly as possible so there we go we fixed up my shovel and I'm not going to go all the way back for that other bush. I'm just going to slap this bush right here. Slap. Oh, dang it. Out of energy. It's all right. I got some bread bacon in the house. Grab that bread. Oh, no. Look at the mud you're tracking in here, fool. Ay, 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 ay. Five second rule. Got it. And we can make some more, too. Hold on. Can we? Oh, no, no, no. See, we need more We need more fuel. So that's why we need the bread sticks to fuel it. All right. Well, let's eat this bread, and then we'll go to bed. This gives you 12 energy back. I just want that one breadstick and those two balls. No balls left behind. And we'll throw the breadsticks in here for fuel. Oh, I can't do that until I have 10? Really? All right, fine. I'll hold on to the breadsticks. Um, hop into bed. And now we're going to sleep through the night. Get to morning. Get a nice full energy bar. And then, uh, then we have some more stuff to do. <laughs> I don't know exactly what yet. <laughs> All right, get up. Get up. Rise and shine. So refreshed. I was actually trying to get in here. Yeah, so stuff that's in the chest over here can actually be used over here when you're cooking. That's pretty cool, right? So it knows it's there. So here's how you make dough, by the way. Click on that. I've got the uh, the, the wheat and stuff over here. And there you, there you go. I needed the dough. Five second roll. Yeah, everything falls on the floor. No, get out of bed. Oh, this guy is always trying to hop into bed. Um, yeah, so everything falls on the floor for a quick split second, and you can pick it right up. But yeah, if you have flour and water over here, you can use it over here. I thought that was pretty pretty slick. All right, so we got, uh, it's midday already, huh? Hmm. Let's go over here. I want to try something, but first I'm going to whack this bush. Grab a few breadsticks. Yeah, and I think we can eventually make, like, firewood. Farming in nature. No, it's over here. Saw. Yeah, right here. We should probably learn that. We have plenty of points. Let's do it. And this is going to give us a chopping place, firewood, and a wood wedge. And we can use firewood in the stove instead of those breadsticks, which are useful for other things, I think. So anyway, we can now fix this with a claim property scroll. I got it from the, uh, the innkeeper. And now, looks like we can use this farm. Oh, this is cool. I don't know if I should make any more of those, though. How many can I make? And what do we do with it? So, apparently, I am uh, tilling the earth. 
And I can plant. I don't have anything to plant. Oh, dang it. Do I have to unlock technologies here? Garden bed with sticks. Master gatherer. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Transplanting and beeswax. Gardening. Doesn't look like any of those are actual requirements. It's, it seems to me like I have to find some seeds. And I'm not sure where to get seeds. I don't know. Maybe in town we can buy them? We shall see. Um, so we unlock some things, right? Oh, there's that donkey with another body. Dang it. Yeah, I want to make this chopping place so we can make firewood. A rat. A rat. But I'm all out of wood. I gotta go chop down a tree. I can't chop these. I don't have the right tech. I think we can only dig up stumps. How about this little tree? Nope. Can't even take that guy. Alright. Oh, here's a stump down here. Yeah, I think we can just dig up stumps. With a shovel. Takes a lot of energy out of a guy, though. Huh. All right, yeah, there we go. Two logs. Let's put it here. One there. And I think we can drop that one. Oh, 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 oh. Drop it. Let's grab another one, and we can just push those right up. Oh, I got one that time. All right, yeah, can we go? Wow, look at that guy. Strong back. Woo. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, there we go. Put it in that wood pile. And now we should be able to saw the billets. Okay. This takes a lot out of you, though. Negative two. Wow, look at it go. Yikes. That's three billets. We're going to need, I think it was a total of five, right? To make the chopping place. So let's make some more billets. There we go. And now the chopping place. We do that over here. Right? The chopping place. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is a chopping place. All right. Put it right here, I guess. Looks like a nice place to chop wood. And what do we do now? Firewood or wood wedge. Let's make the firewood. Gotta work it out. Oh, now we're using our axe. Okay. Oh, dang it. Out of energy. It's all right. I got one bun. Eat the bun. Eat the bun. There we go. Firewood. Now. Now we can throw it in the oven. Right? Yes. Look at that fuel. Way better than the breadsticks. <laughs> okay. Now we can cook. Now we can cook. That's going to use four flames. And we just walk away. And it's going to make two buns. Two buns. One for each side. Woohoo. All right. Let's get to bed. Let's get to bed. Oh my gosh, this guy sleeps half the day away, but you need all that energy. It's going to be nighttime again soon. <laughs> wow. There's got to be a way to get energy back. I know there's so many different foods. Oh gosh, five second rule, get it all. And the green little ball, no green balls left behind. Um, yeah, the better foods will, re will restore more energy, I think. So we need to start thinking about getting veggies and maybe some meats for protein. Oh, yeah, we got eggs over here. Jellies? Oh, honey. I think honey is like the next thing we should do. So let's go find some. Let's go find some. Uh, let's find some honey. Find some beezes. I think there are bees in town. I could have sworn I saw some. Um, should we do anything in the grave today? I guess we can make some grave, uh, grave sites. We can do that right here, right? Yeah, we should probably make another gravestone. Yeah, we want to beautify that cemetery so we can impress the um, impress the bishop. Got to do that. Let's stop in and say hi to uh, Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Bye, Jerry. Um, might as well bring this body. Otherwise, it's just gonna pile up over here. I'm just gonna leave it here for now. I don't think I want to dig a hole for it. Um. Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Okay, we can bury this body. Because we have the headstone, and I don't have anywhere else to put it. we got to figure out how to make those um, repair kits, I think. That's what's next. I mean, this is the job after all, right? All right, negative two. See, that's what I'm talking about. Cover back up. There we go. Oh, and a burial certificate. So that is another reason why I want to do this, because you do get paid for it. It's like a silver and 50 copper. It's pretty good pay. There we go. One red ball, and we're still at negative eight. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go to town and hand in this certificate. And I think we're gonna take a look at some of these technologies and maybe look around for a um, a beekeeper. Yes, I think there are beehives around town somewhere. And we also need to buy seeds, so we'll take a walk around town here and see if we can buy seeds from somebody. But first, let's get to the dead horse and beat it. Oh, I love this guy's wife. She's so adorable. Hi. Okay. <laughs> I just love her voice. Hi, hubby. I would like to sell you a burial certificate. Like the ancient contract says. And you know what? We are going to buy some baked salmon for 30 that's, that's uh, 30 stamina. It's pretty good. It's kind of cheap. Let's get... Um, I'm going to get two of those. Baked salmons, please. Because I'm sick and tired of running out of energy. Thank you. Hurrah, And... Oh, we got to go talk to the merchant. It's the day. Today's the day. Where's the merchant? He said it was down south. Oh, no. Where's the merchant at? Wait, hold on. i got to check this out now. Um... Talk with the merchant on... Yeah, that's today. He said he was down here in the south somewhere, but I do not see a merchant. The store is closed until I have 80 happies with the merchant. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, this is his place right here. Oh, oh, here he is. This is the guy. Hi, buddy. You must be the merchant. Gre <laughs> Greetings, villager. <laughs> oh, man, he's been drinking. If you have any spare... <laughs> Er, I can offer you amazing things. Tasty and rare. <laughs> I humbly apologize, but I won't buy your shit <laughs> stuff unless it's something valuable. And I doubt you can find something <laughs> like that here. Actually, I'm new here. Everybody thinks I'm the keeper at the local graveyard. But I'm from another world, and I need to get back home. I understand you all too well. This world is not mine <laughs> either. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Mine is a world of grandeur, the palaces of the town. But I'm not so lucky to be highborn, so I have to earn hick my coins here in this onion potato heck. <laughs> I'm going to scare him to cure his hiccups. Boo! <laughs> are you mad? What are you doing? I was only trying to help you with your hiccups. It was a stupid move. I just needed some time. That shark fin steak I ate this morning was so delicious, but I have to admit that the golden fried butterfly wing stole the show. It seems like you're okay now after my little surprise attack. Yes, it seems so. All right, let's talk to him about the garden. Haradric gave me permission to use the garden near the church. I need to discuss the terms of use with you. Oh, I have totally forgot about that dead weight. It cost me so little. But of course, that was so many years ago, and due to, the infla due to inflation and the good soil, now it's quite a valuable commodity. Right, let me see. Hmm, how about 10 coins? 10. Uh, that's too much. It's too much. Oh, how about five? Ah, uh, still too much. I'm short on money. Maybe we can discuss some kind of barter. <laughs> I see. You're a poor man who wants to earn a little money by growing crops. We can discuss the terms of your rent, but first let's see how good of a farmer you are. Let's make a deal. You deliver a batch of carrots, cabbages, and onions. Then I'll see you as a serious business partner. We'll make a long-term deal that's profitable for both sides. What do you say? Deal! As soon as I have my first harvest, I'll bring it to you. Okay, it seems like I got a little bit ahead of myself here and already opened the garden and put down the two plots. One more thing, if you have the time, I'd like to ask you a small favor. Oh uh, boy, how can I help you? My friend, I like delicious food, but lately I've, I'm have having stomach problems. After a good dinner, I get the hiccups. It's driving me mad. A friend of mine from the wine club told me that hiccup grass can help. I believe there's plenty of it in the swamp. I'd be very grateful if you could bring me some. Sure, I'll look around for some. All right, cool. We can get some hiccup grass, get plus tens, plus ten smileys. Awesome. And what do you trade for, my friend? Ooh, he sells jewelry. And grape seeds. Oh, dude. Dude, dude, dude. Can I buy some? Can I buy some grape seeds? I guess so. How many is that? Is this only one seed? 40 for one seed? Are you out of your mind? Uh, I don't really have that kind of money. All right, maybe we can find seeds somewhere else cheaper. Or maybe just find them in the world. I don't know. I'm not going to buy that dude's seeds for that kind of cash. All right. Uh, Yeah, let's go have a look around. Maybe there's someone else that sells. She doesn't talk. What have we got up here? 
nobody around. I think everybody's kind of on their own schedule. Like sometimes they'll show up and sometimes they won't. Oh, oh, chicken says, oh, look at this basket. What's in the basket? It wants me to look. Fresh eggs. Ooh, trade. <gasps> oh, I can buy fresh eggs right here. It's like the honor system. All right, I'll take, uh, that's a lot. I'll take four. Uh, I'll just take them all. <laughs> all right, there, yeah, I took all five eggs. They were not cheap. All right, let's, um, what's up here? Oh, I can fish, I bet, right here, right? Yep, it's a fishing spot. Start fishing. You need a fishing rod. Duh. And this? Some kind of fire. Oh. Oh, no, I'm taking the rocks away from someone's campsite. Uh, don't let anybody see that, okay? <laughs> Oops. All right. I don't think this is... Oh, what's this then? Oh, more berries. Yeah, get the berries. Berries are yummy. And a brown mushroom. Oh, this tree I can chop. Oh, I can chop the little trees. Okay. Timber! In somebody's backyard. <laughs> Uh, and it drops a big log, essentially. Can I get through here? Yeah. All right, I'm bringing my big log home. Uh-oh. Hope she doesn't see me with my big log running by. Hi, ma'am. It's just my log. Don't mind my log. Hello. What do you do around here? We can trade. Butter, cheese, bucket of milk, and jug of milk. Oh, she's got some good stuff. A jug of milk. Yeah, we can buy some of this stuff and make some things. How about, um, let's buy... Let's buy two jugs of milk. Because I think we can do some cooking with that. Thank you, ma'am. I love your jugs of milk. They're fantastic. Keep it up. Keep up those jugs of milk. All right. Let's grab some more berries here. Hopefully nobody owns these. And of course, everything that we're doing here is taking energy. Got to keep an eye on that. But it's been a pretty fruitful day so far. Ba -dum -bum Hi, sir. I'm just dropping my wood here. What do you do? Oh, we trays. Oh, bees! I see bees! Oh! <gasps> Dude, you're the man. You could be the man. Are you the man? I'm going to find out. I'm going to buy two honeys from you. And he even sells bees and beeswax. But I bet I can get my own. Uh, are your bees okay? Oh, I don't want the flower. No. I want the bees. Um. Whoops, hold on. Let's go to... Where's my tech? Tech. Tech. Farming. Gathering beeswax. Oh, we got to do this. It unlocks gathering and it unlocks recipe honey. <gasps> Sweet. I want to do some beekeeping. All right. Let's do it. I don't know what to do here. How do I get the bees? Oh, dang it. I don't know. I'm not doing something right. I'll figure that out. Let's bring this wood bag home and get to sleep. We're going to need some energy restoration. Although, I wouldn't mind just going down here and seeing if there's anybody down this way. Oh, here's a lady! Lady! Let- Okay. I'm stuck. I gotta go around. Yeah, see? She's got a garden! Are you the garden lady? Oh, never mind that. That's just my donkey friend. Hi. Hello, my friend. Sorry, but I am busy right now. Oh. You don't look very busy. What are you making? Pottery? Oh. She's a potter. She's a potter-er-er-er-er-er-er. Very good, then. Oh, apples! Can I get over there and steal somebody's apples? Okay, let's cut through the, uh... Let's cut through the wheat field and see if we can get down here. Oh, yeah, now we're talking. Oh, there's a lady who wants to talk? And, and a lady by the hay. All right, let's drop the wood. We don't want to scare anybody with that thing. Hi, ma'am. Just passing through your farm. Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying, even if it's drugs or magic elixirs. <laughs> I'm just looking around. I don't know what's happening, but everyone is telling me that I'm the graveyard keeper. Oh, then you're even worse than those shifty mer traveling merchants. I must tell you, I think that your whole profession is a fraud, and I don't like you. Now that I've made my position clear, we can do business. <laughs> okay. <gasps> she sells the cabbages, the carrots. Crop waste? Cabbage? Oh, seeds! Yes! Okay, what did that guy want from us? Uh, oh, shoot. Okay, let's do, um... Oh, man. I'm uh, not sure how many we can buy. Let's buy four of those. We need carrots, cabbage, and I think you said wheat, right? Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic! That was expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. All right, thank you, ma'am. Sir, I don't know. Uh, we're going to grow our own cabbage, so I'm not going to buy them. 
All right, hey, pleasure doing business with you. Stay right there. I'm gonna go steal your apples. Oh, no, I don't want that flower. The dude's trying to pick up the flowers, and I don't want the flowers. I don't like that. I don't like how it forces you to go somewhere you don't want to go. Oh, I can chop down this dude's bush. That would not be very kind. All right, let's talk to the girl over here. Hey, hi, ma'am. You're hiding in the hay. I need to finish my chores. Her father will be terrifyingly angry. Oh, then don't let me interrupt you. I wouldn't want you to get whipped. Is that your dad down there? I thought it was your mom. Sorry. <laughs> All right, let's go. Stick to the roads. I don't, you don't, never know what's in this wheat. Kind of spooky. I love the little footprints. Okay, home sweet home. Sort of. Let's get over to the garden. Over here. And plant these seeds. We have to prepare this plot right here, though. And I hope I have enough energy for this. Okay, good. Plant them. Yes. Let's do the cabbages. I selected them. Is that it? Is that all you have to do? Oh, wait. How do you do this? Done. Yes, done. Get out of here, Wood. All right. Let's plant the uh, carrots here. Okay, no, you got to click on done. And let's make them one more plot for the wheat. Yeah, we'll just stick the wheat, put the wheat over here. Okay, get out of there. And I am not going to have the energy for this. However, I can just eat. Well, let's eat the buns. Oops. Eat a bun. I want to save that salmon for later. Okay. Now. Oh, sun's coming up. This farming and gravekeeping is hard work. Let me tell you. Boom. Well, catch me if you can, little green ball. <laughs> He's fast. Now, do I have to water those crops? I don't know. Oh, yeah, fine. Put the wood down. The guy's like, dude, dude, this is getting heavy. Whew. Now, let's go do some cooking before bed. Let's see. Do we have to prepare anything here? I don't think so. Oh, pastry dough. Oh, that's right. We got chicken eggs, too. I forgot we had the chicken eggs, too. Let's put the chicken eggs in here, too. All right. There's a one chunk of flesh is still in there. If we make pastry dough, what can we make with the pastry dough? Oh, we can make a cake. Are you kidding me? Look at this cake. Plus 95. So that, no, let's make the cakes. I'm making a cake, baby. Yes, let's bake a cake. Pastry dough. Pastry dough, go for it. Let's make two pastry doughs. Bloop. Oh, wow, I made a ton of them. That made four right there. Excellent. All right, so we have four pastry dough. And we should have everything we need for a couple of cakes. Onion rings? No way. Oh, yeah. If we get more honey... We can make a ton of cakes. We could be the cake boss. Oh my gosh, we need so much f fuel. <laughs> 15? Are you insane? All right, let's craft up some more firewood, but I don't have the energy to do this. Oh, drat. All right, well, let's go to bed. It is nighttime. And we'll uh, whip up some firewood in the morning. Meanwhile, the bodies are piling up end of the lane. <laughs> but who cares? We're cooking. All right, let's go get some more firewood here. All right. Um, I guess that ought to do. Track a whole bunch of mud in the house. Look at that. What a disaster. All right. Look at all that fuel now, man. All right, let's do it. Let's bake a cake. Look at it go. Looks delicious. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait for my cake. In the meantime, I guess we should go take care of a buddy. Oh, hi. What's up, Jerry? An Inquisitor. I've just seen an Inquisitor right nearby at the path to Witch Hill. Oh, sorry. He will kill me or even worse. Calm down, Jerry. I'll go distract him. Maybe I'll find something on this hill that will help me get home. Ah. Right. Well, I guess we'll go do that. But I think before we do that, is my cake ready? No. Oh, yes, it is. Hurry up, cake. I'm bringing a cake. I'll give it to the Inquisitor. Sounds like a nice guy. Bloop. Yes. One whole cake. Let's get another one going, in fact. Oh, we need the fuel. Okay, let's go see an Inquisitor. What does he do? Is he just like an inquisitive old feller? 
Oh, I hope he doesn't come this way and see the bodies on the ground here. I'd probably get fired. I wonder if he has more pull than the uh, than the bishop. Uh oh, something happening here. <gasps> there he is. Everything is ready, Monsignor. Good. Were there any problems? No, Monsignor. Except there was this strange fellow snooping around. Oh, there he is. Halt. Uh, <laughs> hi guys. Calm down. <laughs> I live here at the graveyard. Guys? Why, he's a cultist for sure. Tell them that you are uh, the graveyard keeper. I work as the keeper of the local graveyard. You can ask any of the villagers about me. Then you're definitely telling the truth. And hold on, I have a phone call. Okay. Uh, shoot! I missed what, what happened? Uh, agree, refuse, agree, I don't know what, I don't even know what he said. Okay, sure. It would be my honor. What are we doing? So how did you find yourself in such an interesting position? Um, dodge that question. Well, it just happened. There's nothing special to say. You're definitely hiding something, and I'll find out what. Here I am, the Great Inquisitor. I protect the one true faith in humankind itself. We're having a tough time in the town. The ship of the dead is already overloaded, and there's a new one stuck in the shipyard. Your graveyard is opening again at a suspiciously auspicious time. The dark cult is rising. I can feel it. Righteous anger rises with it in my soul. We haven't revealed a witch for a long time, and now we're lighting up the second one this year. And it's only the beginning. Wait, what? Witch? Burning? Excuse me? Burn the witch! Burn her! Burn her anyway! Oh my gosh, what are we doing? What did I agree to? <laughs> yes, Monsignor. What did I agree to? Oh my gosh! 